Hi right, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to install CyanogenMod 10.1 on your GSM Galaxy Nexus. So the first thing you are going to want to do is go over to your computer. Alright, so I'm going to be showing you guys where to download CyanogenMod on your computer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up Google Chrome. And you're going to want to type in CyanogenMod. And it's going to be the .org because this is their newly you know, based website. So you're going to wait for this to load trying to fix my computer down there and you're just going to go to get cyanogen mod and it doesn't matter which device you click so I'm just going to click the Nexus S4G I'm going to go to nightly builds and I'm going to go down here to look for Maguro which is the GSM Galaxy Nexus as you see right there and once you click on that you will see where you can download the cyanogen mod 10.1.zip you can download any nightly builds that are available here. They are updated every single day. Now to download the gapps, you're going to go to goo.im slash gapps. I will provide a link in the description for this as well. Or you can just use their Goo Manager app. See, since this is 10.1, we want the latest one, which are 12, 12, 20, 12 gapps. And you are going to click on that, and it'll load up the page. See, it says eight seconds seven so they just do a simple countdown wait for this to finish and then you're just gonna choose the file where you want it to be placed and you see we are gonna save it in this folder right here which is gas for jb well that's what it's called and you're just gonna hit save i'm not because i already have it downloaded but that is how you download your cyanogen mod 10 off their website all right and once you have the files downloaded from your computer what you're going to want to do is make sure you have the GS, which you can use the website that I showed you, or you can download Goo Manager, which Goo Manager, just search the market, and you can go to download GApps package. And it says you want to download the latest Google Apps. Now, the latest Google Apps are 12, 12, 2012. I will provide a direct link for you to download those, but in case there are updates, that's the app that you want to use to download them. And you can use reboot into recovery if you have that option. If not, we can just manually power down, say you're on stock. Now it doesn't matter which recovery you use. I don't remember which recovery I have flashed, so. Now when your phone is completely powered off, you're going to want to press and hold both volume keys and the power button. It's kind of a trick thing, but you got this. Alright, and then you are going to boot up into this bootloader right here. Now, what you're going to want to do is use volume down, go down to recovery mode, and press the power key. And it'll show the Google logo with the unlock the bootloader. You are going to need to be rooted for this, by the way. Alright, so once we are here, let's see if I can pull this in a little bit closer for you guys. Now once you are here, what you are going to want to do is go to White Data Factory Reset. You are going to go down to Yes, Delete All User Data. I recommend making a backup, but I already have one, so I don't need to. It's going to wipe all user data. Let me see if I can get a better focus. There we go. Somewhat better focus for you guys. Go down to Wipe Cache Partition go to yes white cash this only takes about a second or two now if you're using twerp uh, this all these will be under the wipe menu on the right hand side then you're going to want to go to advanced and oops advanced and you're going to want to go to wipe delvic cache and hit the power key on that that doesn't even take half a second now this is completely up to you but if you want to have a I guess cleaner install than this you can go to mounts and storage and you can format the system if you want to I'll just show you guys you don't have to do this it's just an option I mean it may help your performance like because it kinda it helps erase like the unwanted files and stuff like that so now you're gonna go to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD card and we are gonna want the zero folder 
if you're on 4.1, you won't see that options right there. We'll just go to this. Just a little heads up. And since I downloaded this directly to my phone, I'm going to go to the downloads folder. If you download it on your computer, just copy it over to any folder that you want. You can name a folder, say, ROMs, and you can download everything you want in there. We are going to go to the install CM 10.1.12.19, and this is going to install. If you want to keep everything simple, you can create a folder on your phone, you know, called ROMs, and then you can download them all on your computer, and just copy them over. You can also put, you know, your G apps and everything in there, that way everything is just in one folder. And the install from SD card is complete. So what we're going to want to do now is go back to choose it from SD card, go back to the zero folder, and we are going to, since we downloaded them, the G apps with Goo Manager, you are going to look for the folder right there called Goo Manager, and we are going to locate our latest G apps, which are right there, 12, 12, 2012, and we are going to go to Yes, install these. Now this only takes a few seconds. See a little progress bar, it doesn't take too long. Now CM10.1 isn't going to have all the features of say CM10 and CM9 because they're still trying to iron out all the bugs. But I'm just flashing this so I can show you guys the project that they've made so far. And yes, I will be doing updated videos every few days showing you the process you know how far they've gotten and stuff like that I wonder if they kept the same boot animation they did too I really like that boot animation it's still a little stutter right there I know it's just good to starting up but I figured I'd point that out and I will be back when this fully boots up Alright guys, and I just felt a vibration, so that means that it's about to be turning on any second now. Should probably clean my screen, sorry about that. Alright, and here we are. We are going to go to start. And I'm going to skip the Wi-Fi. Uh, yes, yeah, skip anyway. I'm going to go to no. I will set that up later so you guys don't have to, you know, watch me try to set that up. Oops. Just going to go to skip the that too and we're gonna go to finish make yourself a home so we have the usual cyanogen mod type uh, trebuchet launcher we're gonna go down to about phone so see we are running on Android 4.2.1 jelly bean got the little Easter egg there and if we scroll down cyanogen mod 10.1 12 19 2012 and nightly build now to get your um, developer options you need to tab that and then you'll see performance as well it says proceed with caution we're gonna go to the processor can we overclock this so there is no overclocking as of right now but I'm sure CM10 is perfectly capable of handling this see we have profiles you guys are used to profiles by now we have our advanced settings that's with the colors and gammas and stuff like that so if you go under status bar you can have your AM PM you can change your battery status to the CM one, which looks really nice. You can mess with your quick settings panel. Oops. Go over to quick settings. So this has the quick pull downs too. I like that. So you can reach from the right side and pull down your quick settings. I love that feature in a Xylon ROM. You can auto close a panel. You can choose your tiles and layout. You can choose a note. That's pretty sweet. Have your Wi-Fi stuff and if we go to notification drawer so you can still have your power widget Oops. so you can still have your that is awesome because you don't have to have the uh, quick settings like you can still use that then you have your power menu so when you press and hold the power button I use the expanded desktop and I'm playing games like Ski Safari and stuff like that and we have our theme chooser we can go into the la launcher which is a trebuchet we can change the home screen grids we can have it auto rotate under lock screen we have screen security battery status and we have shortcuts which is nice you can have up to five well four custom because you have the lock one and let's hit home and 
so this was my how to install CyanogenMod mod 10.1 and a relatively quick look at it you still get these CyanogenMod mod features like Apollo you get their file manager which is pretty nice I'll cover that in the full review you have DSP manager super user which I love over super as you and you have torch which is my favorite application ever well I say that to a lot of applications but this is why you have a little strobe thing I think it's kinda cool sorry for blinding you <laughs> but alright guys if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up it helps me out more than you know and if you want to see more videos like this in the future be sure to subscribe you'll be able to see my full review and I also have videos on the Galaxy Note 2 that are coming soon 